Welcome back to Animal of the Week. In today's episode, we're looking at the horseshoe-shaped tree hoppers. Now this genus is quite a confusing classification. Basically, Sphongosphorus was originally its genus and Clodonata was proposed as being a subgenus. But Clodonata was then elevated to the status of full genus, and so now it's confusing with some people writing Clodonata in brackets to show it's a subgenus, others just using Clodonata to show a full genus. The reason Clodonata was elevated to full genus is due to the great diversity in the genus Sphongophorus which made scientists decide that Clodonata was different enough from many other species of Sphongosaurus to be a different genus. The horseshoe-shaped treehopper obviously gets its name from the fact it's shaped like a horseshoe, and the treehopper bit comes from it being a treehopper. They are part of the family of treehoppers known as Membracidae, and honestly there are just so many weird and cool looking treehoppers I might be milking this family for content in the future. These strange insects are found in South America, Central America, and as far north as Mexico. They enjoy the Neotropical region. This is a region encompassing most of South America as well as Central America and Southern Mexico and the USA. But these typically don't get as far north as the USA. It's one of Earth's eight biogeographical realms and is characterized by tropical rainforests as well as subtropical and temperate grasslands. Also the Andes and the Atacama Desert, but they don't go there. On a more micro scale, they enjoy leaf litter and trees. That's why they're shaped like the way they are, because its excellent camouflage as they strongly resemble a shriveled leaf. Now because these insects are rather niche, there isn't a lot of specific information about their diet. However, they are still tree hoppers, so we can assume they feed in the same way that most tree hoppers do. Tree hoppers feed in a rather interesting way. They stick their mouths into trees and other plants and suck out sap. Any excess sap is concentrated as honeydew and left as a sticky mess on the plant's leaves. This can actually be quite dangerous for the tree hoppers, as if left, the honeydew might form a fungus that can then be deadly to the insects. But to balance this out, the sweet stickiness of the honeydew usually attracts ants, which actually help the tree hopper by eating the honeydew or taking it away in a semi-symbiotic relationship. Usually different species can be found to live on specific host plants as they seem to all have a preference for specific types. A new species was described in 2020, Clodonata rex. It was found on a black pepper plant, which might suggest that they enjoy drinking the sap of this specific plant, but it might also have just been passing by and just happened to be discovered while on that plant. Again, we don't know specifics about the horseshoe-shaped tree hoppers breeding, so we'll have to go off what we know about how other tree hoppers breed and hope that they are at least similar, which in all likelihood they are. That's because tree hoppers generally have a pretty simple and universal way of breeding. The females usually possess a sharp ovipositor that cuts into the host plant so that eggs can be laid inside of the trunk. However, some species just lay them on top of the leaves. It's unsure what the genus Glodonata do. We've already mentioned it, but I want to give another commendation to this insect's amazing camouflage. Its whole body is shaped in this amazing way just so it can resemble a leaf. As you can see, they're usually brown or black, so they blend in well with any undergrowth or tree bark. Tree hoppers face a lot of threats given that they are very small and easy to eat. Anything from birds to bats to reptiles might try and eat them, and probably with ease. That's why they employ their clever camouflage. It's also been observed in some species that females will stay around their eggs until they are hatched, as wasps may try and feed on them, or the wasps might try and parasiticize them. The females will vibrate their wings in order to try and scare them off. However, it's unknown if the horseshoe-shaped tree hoppers do this. They might very well, but equally they might very well not. Human impacts are unknown as they are rarely studied and not much information on populations of a whole genus is known. The IUCN doesn't even have a ranking for them. New species in the genus are being discovered as recently as 2019 and 2020, so really they are an unknown. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it and if you'd like to see more from us.